Spotify is now the leading music streaming service in the world. The company has a reputation for effectively matching its users' musical tastes and suggesting the most desired playlist. And this is one of the reasons for its success in the music streaming industry. But the vital question is, how does Spotify match the taste of its users so well? Well, the magical ingredient is its highly advanced data science and machine learning system. Its AI is so efficient and gives its users an experience that even big giants like Apple Music can't match. And in this video, we will dig deep into the data science of Spotify to unveil how it gets the taste of its users and how it suggests the most accurate and engaging songs and other audio content to its users. So with that being said, let's get into the details. During the first decade of this century, the wide availability of the internet made easy many a thing, and it was both good and bad for us and for many businesses. However, it also significantly impacted the music industry. While different songs and artists got a worldwide platform to showcase their talents, piracy also became a massive problem for music. And to curb that problem, the music industry needed something that would provide customers with some sort of service that are more intriguing than pirated music, and at the same time would pay to the music owners as well. So there was a gap in the market for a better musical service, and Daniel Ek and Martin Lawrenson were the first to identify that opportunity and founded Spotify in 2006. Spotify officially started its journey in 2008. With about 70 million tracks and over 2.9 million podcast titles, Spotify is now the world's number one music streaming service. Today, it has about 365 million users, and among them, there are about 165 million subscribers. At present, Spotify is operating across 178 markets. It's not like Spotify is the only player in the music streaming market. There are many giants like Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud Go, and so on. So the vital question is, how did Spotify manage to get so much popularity in the music market? Well, the magic ingredient lies in its data science algorithm. It is so efficient that soon after using the app, the algorithm rapidly gets your musical taste. Spotify uses three types of machine learning techniques to make effective song recommendations to its users. And the most prominent of them is collaborative filtering. Collaborative filtering is a recommendation system that considers the choices of similar users to form a recommendation list. For example, if you like a song named X, the algorithm will try to find out who else liked the X song and make a list of them. Then it will find out the person who has the highest number of common songs with you. After that, it will suggest the music listened to by that person and you haven't yet. This system has been used by online platforms like Netflix, Amazon, and many other top-notch tech-based companies. Now, as we have a basic understanding of collaborative filtering, let's get a little deeper into it. There are two types of collaborative filtering processes that most companies use. The first one is the explicit feedback approach, and the other one is the implicit feedback approach. In the explicit feedback system, the algorithm uses the inputs given by the users and suggests the following product or service based on that user's rating. This is the type of collaborative approach that Netflix follows. However, Spotify doesn't have a rating system for songs, so explicit system can't be used as there is no direct user feedback. Instead, Spotify uses implicit feedback where the algorithm observes the behavior of the users and decides what to suggest next. So, the more time you spend with the app, the more it gets to know you better. It may sound like a simple process, but there's a lot this algorithm is capable of. First, Spotify tries to develop your taste profile based on the songs you listened to and saved, the singer's profiles you visited, and so on. Meanwhile, there are billions of playlists made by other users. So now Spotify tries to locate the playlist that includes the songs you listened to and saved and find similar songs in that playlist. 
Then, from those similar songs, Spotify eliminates the songs you have already heard and creates a list of songs for Discover Daily that you might be interested in and go with your taste. How does Spotify detect similar music? And for your information, there are currently 70 million songs in its database. So determining similar songs among the mountains of songs must be a challenging task for Spotify. And this is where the natural language process comes into play. The natural language process is an AI-based algorithm capable of crawling into blogs, articles, news, journals, and other text sources on the internet to extract text data. But texts found on the internet are not organized. So before reaching a meaningful conclusion, the data extracted from different sources have to go through a critical process. Those processes include tokenization, stemming, lemmatization, and so on, which finally result in meaningful data. These data are then sent to NLP APIs to determine the sentiment, positive, negative, or others, associated with the text. Spotify utilizes the natural language process to determine inferences about songs and singers. In this way, Spotify identifies the public sentiment of a song and its artist. Those sentiments are then translated into top terms. These terms are weighted, and all those top terms decide the cultural vector of a song, album, or artist. And this is how every song that is discussed over the internet gets evaluated and classified based on their cultural vector by Spotify. With the weight of the top terms of each song, their artists and albums, Spotify identifies similar songs, which is then used in the collaborative filtering to offer the most relevant playlist in daily mixes and discover weekly. This process is constructive for suggesting new songs. However, when a song is uploaded in the Spotify database, there is almost no information in the collaborative filtering. It is because there are not many users who would like to hear a new song. In that case, information found in articles, blogs, and so on is a good way to determine the song's mood, classification, and how the music is being perceived to the audience and which type of audience will like that song. For the natural language processes, Spotify's algorithm is dependent mainly on the resources available on the internet. However, there is another approach that the data science of Spotify utilizes, and it is the Conventional Neural Network, or CNN in short. In this case, the algorithm uses the songs that are available in its database. With CNN, Spotify determines the pitch, tone, volume, mood, and other sound parameters to identify the type of that song. And based on the values of those parameters, the Spotify algorithm then categorizes the songs. This approach eliminates the biases that might occur from the natural language process, because it is possible that new songs and artists might not get any exposure online. Additionally, sometimes blog posts and articles can also be biased to a song. In those incidents, the natural language process might not produce reliable results. On the other hand, the conventional neural network is free from those bias issues as it depends on the inner characteristics of a song rather than what is being discussed over the internet. Thus, this model is significantly helpful in bringing out new talents even if there is no coverage of that song or the artist on the internet. So using the CNN algorithm, Spotify determines the sound profile of a song, which is later recommended to potential listeners identified through collaborative filtering. So that was all about how using data science made Spotify the world's number one music streaming service. In short, Spotify utilizes machine learning to get an insight into the internal data about the users, the songs, and external data. Using these three algorithms together, Spotify has been able to produce the most preferred song recommendation system for its users. But when a business model is totally dependent on technology, it is uncertain that it will keep its leading position forever, simply because technology is ever-changing. Competitors like Apple Music and others are continually trying to improve their offerings and bringing in new techs into their system. So, there is no alternative to continuous technological innovation for Spotify. 
So what new technology might Spotify bring in the future? Let us know in the comments section.